And why can I not exit this monitor? <clears throat> okay, here we go. I think it's too big. Hold on, let me put it at 3x. Will that fit correctly? No, that's not correct. Oh, let me edit this real quick. Select the backup memory to be used. Just resizing this. Uh, that's probably okay. I might have to dial it in once the game starts. Okay, we will start now. I guess we'll use main backup memory. What? Why is it like two different pre-renders? Like when I go up and down, the rendering of the text is completely different. <laughs> Are these just two different images? Strange. Wonder uh, what volume will be good for this. Seems like it's probably good. Wow, look at that lens flare flying around. The Mansion of Hidden Souls. It looks like a like a soap opera title card or something. Too loud? Okay. I'll turn it down. To uh negative 9.7, maybe. We'll see how that does. Hello, Sardus. Welcome. <laughs> Wait, the way that it just abruptly stopped and started flying. Whoa. Why is why is the mansion on top of like a pillar in the middle of the ocean now? It seemed like it was just in like a forest before. This compression is insane. <laughs> I've never seen a game so compressed before in my life. Uh, copyright Sega Enterprises? Did they publish this? How is the, how's the volume now? Is it too, too quiet? I want to become a butterfly personally. Oh, what is this? Is there going to be like an attract mode? No, it's just the opening cutscene, I think. Volume sounds good to you? Okay. Thank you. How many haunted mansions have we seen so far in graphic streams? Uh, a lot. <laughs> I feel like we've seen so many. There's Harry in the Haunted House. What, game mode? What? What's game mode? Oh, normal mode and easy mode. What? Why is that? Why is there difficult? Why is there difficulty setting? Hi, Benji. Haunted mansions are relaxing, are they? Game mode B is just the platforming stages. No city building. What? You making an act razor joke? Let's start. I think this game looked uh, significantly uglier than the first one. I just because it's not like compressed and like not as uh, vibrant, but it seems it seems interesting still. Same mansion, same layout. Okay. Am I in gameplay? Oh, okay. Wow, look at how compressed it is. It looks terrible. None of the buttons are doing anything. Has Graffy played Haunted Mansion GBA? No. <laughs> Why? Hey, Dorothy. How do you do? 
This looks like the attract mode of a gambling machine in a UK pub. <laughs> what? What? How's the how's the volume now? Now that we're in the game. Okay, that's locked. Well, at least we have the advantage of knowing the layout. Uh, I'm gonna say right off the back, right off the bat, this game is very ugly compared to the Sega CD one, and the the compression is oh. <laughs> The, the mansion has a completely different layout now. Seems okay, maybe a tiny bit loud. All right, I'll turn it down just a little bit more. Oh, Volume is good. thank you, Zoda. Thank you. For three months. Cool music. The compression is just insane. Like they couldn't do any better than this. Apples. <laughs> I make this noise when Graffy jingles keys in my face. Yes. Here you go. Here's some key jingling for you. There. Seems like a cool adventure game. It was featured in Classics of Game. I see. I see. Mirror? <laughs> this like fretless bass playing on this song? Uh, I can't seem to interact with anything. Not not really sure what I'm supposed to do. I I think it has the same controls as the first game. <laughs> when Graffy popped the tube. Ah! Ah! Let's go in here. Okay, same as the last game. Um, wow. What is this? Are those swords? Fishing rods, oh yeah, of course. Am I, like, missing something? Because none of the buttons seem to do anything, and I can't interact with that. <laughs> Diary. Okay, here we go. Okay, right, so this is our save point, then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's weird, in the first game, you, you just had the diary with you at all times. It's such, like, strange music for that <laughs> for that room. Of course, I come fast. I got fish to catch. Interesting. Interesting, Ilya. Whoa! Look at how grand this library is. Too bad it looks like. What? I could not understand what that guy just said. since you last came here. Well, since turning my back on human society and changing my form to that of a butterfly. <laughs> no, no. I haven't called you here to talk about the old days. Jim? What? It appears that Mike has come too. June, you're here too. Can I help you out there? I have called both of you here for a reason. I'm rather concerned about something. Have you seen the moon tonight? Didn't you see it? It's very red and scary. 
I have a sinister premonition, tending to investigate whether anything strange is happening in the mansion. Nothing strange is happening. Let's get started, June. Oh, June is our name. June, Mike, I'm putting my trust in you. Putting? I'm putting my trust in you. <clears throat> oh, Tao Warlord. I thought I saw you in chat. Yeah, there you are. How's it going? Oblivion faces. Yeah, they do. A, they do have kind of some of that oblivion uh, quality to them. They are very scary. <laughs> I'm Putin. My trust in you. They animote like those face rig emojis, like the apple ones. Those are those are horrible. I think those are probably like uh, one of the most disgusting things that human beings have ever created. I like how there's just like armchairs sitting so low to the floor that like your legs would just you would not be able to really bend your legs or anything. Uh, I guess there's nothing else to do in this room. We just leave. Well, I hope it's only my imagination. Okay. Can you guys hear the dialogue very very well? <laughs> it is like very difficult for me to understand and there's no subtitle options, so Oh, we can't bonk our head into the wall in this game. We can hear it. Not very well. We can hear it and sometimes even understand it. But it doesn't look like Kathy's here. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she might be somewhere inside. What? Inside? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, my uh, my my reservations about this game are being dispelled pretty rapidly. I like how they say, <laughs> "Whoa." Hey, Kathy. Will you play with me? Ah. Uh. Don't be nasty. <laughs> <laughs> What? June, you could have played with her. What? Was I supposed to do something? I like how they say they are butterflies, but are actually just floating heads. I mean, I think that they did this because in the first game, probably people were like, why are there no humans in this game? What was what's that about? Oh no. Apples? I guess we don't need, uh, we don't know uh, that we need apples yet. <laughs> hey, Kathy! Hi, Kathy! Will you play with me? Yes. What would you like to play? Okay. Okay then, I'll tell you a story. Please listen. What? How is that playing? Once upon a time, there was a strange, enchanting place. Clouds always fill the sky. Cool. So it's very dark. Everybody stayed very still. But when the clouds went away and the moon appeared, that's when the festival began. Then everybody went out hunting to get food for a big party. And guess what they ate for the big feast? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? What? Mark, you're scared, aren't you? I wasn't frightened when I heard this story. We're not frightened, are we, June? Hey, look, we're strong, aren't we? Right. How about another story? No. Not anymore. We grown-ups have important business to attend to. No. Boring. Boring. What? Uh, 
Isn't there another game like this with the butterflies and heads? I mean, we did play the first Mansion of Hidden Souls, uh, which had butterflies, but there were no heads in that game. This is a classics of game like. It was very fascinating. The UI sounds are RE4-esque. I can see that. Uh. I want to go up the stairs. I wish that at least instead of just pausing on a frame of the video that's like still extremely compressed that they would like toggle to like a static like high quality render. I, I'm not really sure why they don't do that. It makes the game look very, very bad <laughs> when you come to a complete stop. Alright, so this door has no doorknob just like it did in the first game. Go this way. I missed the first ones. This is making me lose my mind. I think that this that, that game was normal by comparison to this. Oh, this room. The sacred envoy who gives out light. Visit together with thy curse. The full moon invites the curse. The one upon whom this spell is cast will turn into a butterfly. This what room are you is... doing standing there like idiots? This room's June, the same. Let's ask about the red moon. Maybe okay. Jossie knows something. Jossie. Hey, Snake Man. What can I do for you? Wow. You came here for no reason? What a day this has been! First Raymond, and now you. I'm busy. Oh no, don't say Jossie's gone. She might have been able to tell us something. What? Gone? So she just left the room? Very, very strange. It's the way that they... This is so confused. This is the only room so far that's been the same. I wonder what's up with that. Reminds me of that Carissa's weird song. I don't think I've actually heard any of their music. I've only heard uh, Gen Champion's uh, solo music. How was Alice? It's good, but following the, the guide was very tedious and I just had to take a break. We made some progress though. I like that game. Made it to the anime store. Congratulations. I like how we are a butterfly. Like, uh, it showed us, us as, like, us and Mark, June and Mark, both of us, as butterflies when we reacted to that girl's story. This is very strange. Like, it feels like there's, I don't know, I, I, I think I liked the way that the first game load like a little better whoa very austere room where's that sean got to what sean sean o'leary called music man so we can't look at his book. It's weird. Like, there's not much to, to interact with in this one. Does the mansion open these doors for us then? I don't know. I don't know how we are able to open the doors uh, if we are butterflies. Maybe we possess some kind of like magic that will let us go through the doors. Whoa. Oh, a customer. We're rather busy right now. Could you come back later? What? Sorry. That guy always wants something in return. <laughs> He's always been like that. Cool music in here. The 
had the knack technology, they could make the faces formed out of a swarm of individual butterflies. What even is knack? Like, I never even knew what that was. It's like a... Hey, Jude. It's like a... Why did you not get shot? What? Shot? It was like a former generation, like, launch title or something, right? Bad PS4 launch title. I see. By Sony High Up Dude. I guess we just can't interact with any of these? Maybe this is like a combination or something. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so six, six, zero? Inexplicably got sequel because Sony high up dude. Yeah, I remember it getting like a bad, bad reception or something. Made by the Spyro the Dragon guy. You were a big goblin guy made up of lots of individual physics objects. That's... Sounds like that what could be mean? interesting. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, hi there, Danny. <laughs> How's everything? Okay. It's not very often we see you around here. Has something happened? Why are you here? The moon's red tonight. Don't you find it strange? So that's why you've suddenly turned into a coward. <laughs> I have a hunch that tonight is not going to be a normal one. Something's definitely going to happen. We'll let it happen. It's a good way of getting over the boredom. Just leave it to me. I'll use guns and dynamite if I have to. What? <laughs> He's already gone. But crazy as ever. And guns and dynamite? Knack was a PS4 platformer to show off the particle effect to make Knack. But all it did was make Knack bigger and smaller, and the entirety of both games is just a watered-down Uncharted story for little kids. That sounds that sounds really depressing. This is violence guy, yes. He does seem to be uh, kind of an intense person. He has like a, a golden matchlock pistol in a glass case, I guess? Uh, how can a butterfly shoot a gun? I mean, we, we are a butterfly and we can open and close doors. Well, maybe we should go down and speak to uh, Jeffred or whatever the fuck that guy's name was. The old man uh, this is a very strange feeling game even compared to the first one can we go outside no just no reaction we'll go to the library talk to that old guy because he wanted to know if anything was happening in the mansion and we do know that there's a uh, dennis or whatever is he's going to get his guns and dynamite for something Um, seems to be no interaction available. Take him to the gorillas. You're making a joke about Clayton <laughs> from Tarzan? Right, we can't examine the clock or anything. Uh, I guess we could save our game? We haven't been in here with Mark. Oh, what? I pressed up in this same spot before and nothing happened. What? Coin. So maybe we can go back to that guy who said, uh, you want to buy something or, or whatever he said? I like this music loop in here. <laughs> it's very funny. Oh no, he was on the second floor. No, don't turn around.
This is the best music here. But how do we use the coin? Like... What else would we use the coin for but to buy stuff from the, the shopkeeper guy who said, like, do you want to buy something? In his, like, weird, like, dirt room with, like, everything all messed up? Um, I don't know. John? Why is he never around? <laughs> it's a very austere room. Why is all the furniture in this place so low to the floor? Let's go down this way. We can't go through this door. I wonder what we need the coin for. Yeah, that music is really good. I like the, the loops in all the, the rooms that we've been in so far. This one doesn't open. There's three locked doors. We haven't found any kind of key or anything. Maybe this is one of those points in the game where just abruptly, like, objects that we've looked at before suddenly have, like, stuff associated with them for some reason. This room looks like a Thatcher-era hospital. What's that mean? Can I do anything? Oh. Just abruptly. What a quiet child. If you don't have any business, get out. Maybe, maybe when someone prompts me like that, I'm supposed to press something. Because that girl, uh... At first, like, she... She also, like, said, like, do you want to play? And when I didn't press anything, like... We got sent away. So I wonder if there's something going on with that. Maybe maybe this coin is like a hint coin for this painting thing. No, apparently not. I don't know. Yes. Yes. What? What? What a quiet child. What? If you don't have any business, get out. <sighs> I don't know what I am supposed to do with her. Maybe I just press every button. Press up and every button, because usually up is to interact with things. Like you just press up and you interact. It's very strange. Strange? The moon card is always paired up with the sun. In other words, they are always related to one another as darkness and light. Their existences are essential to one another. Yeah, yeah. But the moon has begun to move off on its own. And that's very mysterious indeed. What's going to happen now? Well, well. All I do is deal the card and listen to its voice. Why don't you go and find out for yourselves? I don't mind giving you this card if you like. Don't you want it, June? Then I'll take it. Okay. Thank what? you, Jossie. <laughs> Whoa. 
The magician. The magician? Just like Jossie, eh? Who the Please fuck is Jossie? Take very good care of it. Right? How do I, uh... Is there, like, some way that I can access, like, the, uh, the other items? I don't know. Jossie. Jossie. Um, I wonder what we need the card for. Jortsy. The Jorts Butterfly. <laughs> Jesse. <laughs> Obviously. Sean? Why is he never around? <laughs> this guy that we have with us, his voice acting is so just. Just nothing. He just sounds like the most boring British guy. Hassy. I would like some hassy. Please. I don't know. There's nobody in here. I guess we go down to the bottom floor and uh, check around some more. Pretty uh, strange pace. Can't do anything in that direction? I don't know. Uh, this game is interesting, but I kind of am feeling like it is not anywhere near as good as the first one. Just like a bit disappointing, I guess. He sounds like a children's TV presenter. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, her door is locked now, that girl. Uh, I wonder if that means that we're supposed to just go to the rooms that were locked before and see if they're open. Now this one is just inexplicably open with no warning. <laughs> His music? <laughs> what is that? Picture? What is this room? Bottles? This is Dragon Hello. Quest. Have you come to listen to my tales of adventure? Uh, sure. When I was human, I had all kinds of adventures. I thought it was possible to go anywhere in the world, and I set out to leave my mark on every land. But that's just an arrogant attitude. The power of a human being is insignificant before the grandeur of Mother Nature. The same thing applies to the mansion. We are reborn as butterflies, carefree and innocent, all due to the moon's magic powers. We should give something back in return for all the good things we receive. Riding on the wind, Crossing the mountains, we are led across the seas by the stars. But when we look up at the moon, it is the same moon wherever Whoa. we may be. There is no way of escaping from this tower that we call Earth. Every day is so peaceful and uneventful, it's almost boring. Violent events are totally out of keeping with this mansion, don't you think? Uh, sure, yeah. I know. I'll go to Jossie's place. Jossie? Who, who even is Jossie? And where does he live? 
This is Dragon Quest First Town music. Yeah. <laughs> uh, music is RPG Maker 2000, default MIDI. Who, who is Jossie? Jossie's the lady, isn't it? But I mean, I don't think that she is Jossie. I think that she is just in Jossie's room. I wish these people were pretty butterflies. Yeah, I, I liked it better when they were just butterflies. The 3D heads are kind of fascinating in their own way. And they look like they might be either real-time graphics or like pre-rendered 3D. Like pre-rendered sprites and not just like a video like the rest of the game is. Where it's just like ultra compressed like video. This music reminds me of, uh, the music from Escape Goat, if anybody has ever played that game, I think. For some reason. It's a generic RPG shop vibe, yeah! Uh, odd, odd feeling to this game. I played it, but I don't remember the music. The music is like the best part of, of the Escape Goat games. Let's see if uh, Jeffrey or whatever is here. Sean. Yeah, uh, Sean. Why is he never around? Sean. Why is he never around? I hate this guy. I was thinking about streaming a scapegoat a couple weeks ago. You should do it. I really like the graphics, especially of the first one. And the music is amazing. The really fun games and the mouse with the little magic hat. Floating head isn't enough. There also need to be two floating hands and you shoot a bomb in their mouth. Is this a Zelda thing? I'm pretty sure the TV presenter man said thank you Jossie when she gave you the, hard, the card. I mean, I went there, but she wasn't there. Like, there was nothing to interact with in that room. <sighs> Maybe we go back down to the library and see if old man is there? Sean? Why is he never around? Mysterious game. Star Fox. But everyone was doing floating, rotating, real-time talking heads back then. I guess you're right. Wasn't there also like a Mario 64 guy like that? Alright, nothing here. This is, uh, kind of, uh, just totally, totally mystifying. This has uh, unfortunately got much like the same design philosophy as Lunacy, which was just walk everywhere. Just walk everywhere. Go go to every possible location and just see if something happens and press press the buttons on everything that you can until you see if something will happen in the game. Maybe it will happen. Maybe it won't happen. But you have to do it because you have no other choice if you want to complete the game. <sighs> All those who are touched by the red mist will be carried forth into the city of moons. I will never forget Lunacy's insane puzzle where you have to try the same thing three times and on the third it just works. Oh yeah, what was that? It was like pulling on like a chain or like a rope or something like that? That was so fucking dumb! Why the hell did they do that? Uh... Alright, this guy is just gone. 
and he I just can't interact with anything in his room. Uh Can we go outside? No. It was grabbing a rope ladder in the mill or something. Yeah. No, oh, that was so fucking dumb. Why did they do that? Reminds me of the Alex Kid game where one puzzle solution involves praying 100 times with no feedback. What? <laughs> praying? <sighs> Is there anything I can do here? I can't do anything with the coin. I don't know how I access like the uh the magician card that I got. I just have coin. Just coin. You have to pray to a Shinto shrine that you get a border pass so you can go to the Sega Arcade. Oh dear. <laughs> ah! Iwobun is now trapped like a rat. Thank you for the follow, Iwobun. Alex Kid in a high tech world is a lament configuration game. <laughs> I don't think I've ever played those games. They're like started on the Sega Master System, right? Sean? Why is he never around? Why is he never around? Sean? He's a coward. Oh. He must be hiding somewhere. All right, I come out if we threaten him. What? What the fuck, Mark? <gasps> frightened, frightened. <laughs> oh, so you were hiding. Anyway, what was that noise? Well, where did it come from? It sounded like my room. June, let's go. It's crazy music. As much as I love systematically checking doors, I don't know about this one. Yeah, I'm not exactly impressed with this game so far. <sighs> Most Alex Kid games are platformers, but High Tech World was an attempt to bring over an anime licensed game without the license, and also it's an inscrutable adventure game where everything kills you. <laughs> that sounds kind of great, honestly. Don't create the torment nexus? What is that? <laughs> right now, I guess we are looking for Sean. Just look everywhere for Sean and for the, uh, the, uh, the, the source of that noise. Have you played the Sega CD one? Yeah, we played that last week. I think on Wednesday. I liked that game a lot more than this. I, I'm not exactly impressed with this game so far. I'm having my weekly sugary beverage right now, smile. I know some sibs want to know. Yes, good work. Good work, Ilya. We're very proud of you. Life fuel. I'll link it in Discord. Oh. I haven't seen much of this one. It's like just a... Uh... Oh. Who could have done such a terrible thing? Bum, 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 bum. Why? terrible um this one i'm i don't know it's just kind of <sighs> slow and boring i i feel like the first oh game no. was the book's gone huh? june can you see if the book with the blue cover has fallen on the floor why can't you do it we're both standing here uh, fuck d that's not mine Oh, this must be Mark's room, I guess. Um, 
Anyway, this one is just... It doesn't look as good. It's... I don't know. It just feels like it is uh, not not as good in possibly every way. It's just it's just not nearly as good as the the Sega CD one. And it's like at the Can't same. Find it anywhere. What? Must have been stolen. It's got the same bad gameplay as Lunacy, which this company made. I borrowed that book from Elder. It's awful. Anyway, I'd better go and tell him. The old man's name is literally Elder? What? Um, but this game has like, it has the same kind of like bad gameplay as like Lunacy, which uh, this developer made later on the Saturn as well. But like without anything that made that game like kind of interesting or fun. I, don't know, I guess like the graphics in this are pretty nice, but they're so compressed that they just are really ugly and just kind of like bad to look at. <laughs> Uh, who could have fucked up this piano this hard with a little butterfly body? We'll tell Elder about his lost Elder. book. Elder! Where Elder. are you? What's happened? Uh, what has got you so worked up? Uh, Elder, it's terrible. I've just discovered that my room's been ransacked and room. someone stole the book I borrowed from you. I see. So that's what happened. If it's about the book, don't worry. It was just something I'd written about my past. But it's strange. What? I can't imagine that the residents would have done that. The I residents. don't think so. A lighter was dropped in the room. The room? Whoever owns the lighter is the culprit. We should not suspect people so easily. <laughs> but who can have done such a thing and for what reason? I'm going to investigate <sighs> too. I hate listening to Mark's voice. It's like the most, it's like the worst possible British guy voice I can even imagine. It's so unpleasant. Lunacy is such a treat when you get to the moon. Yeah, the back half of that game is good because it's more like a just an adventure Elder game. Doesn't believe what I say. Uh. I still think one of the residents is the culprit. Don't you think so, June? Right. Let's catch the culprit. Yeah, the residents, the musical avant-garde uh, multimedia group. I'm back. How is game? It's not that good. Welcome back, Bo Shelter Mix. I'll have to check Lunacy out. Yeah, it's it's okay. I think that Mansion of Hidden Souls, the first one, is like more interesting in general. But uh, Lunacy is probably better than this game in general. Oh, how unusual! Oh, you've both come to visit me at the same time. We were just here. We came here a short time ago, didn't we? Yeah. Some time ago? You must be joking. Well, it is possible. Huh? Really? Well, if that's the case, would you leave me alone for a while? I'm what? sorry, but I'm very, very tired. What? I understand. We'd better call again. What? What is going on in this game? I... I mean, I think that something that it's nailing pretty well is that that dream feeling where there's like no connection between anything and like the, the events of the game don't have any kind of logical tissue between them is absolutely bizarre. Most of what I remember this game for is its insane ending. Well, I guess we'll have to see it through to the end just for that, if nothing else. And why did this game have a normal mode and an easy mode option? What could that possibly mean? What could easy mode possibly be that this version isn't? Hey, Nethica. Man, son. Time limit? I hope not. I hate adventure games with time limits. It's so dumb. Yeah, Bach. Bah. All right, nothing in here. 
feel like I am, uh... The dream feeling is lulling me into a deep slumber. So we'll see if Jossie is here. Where can Jossie have gone to? Just at the very time I need her. Oh, this guy's gotta fucking stop talking. I can't take it. Easy mode just puts button prompts on the screen for yes or no questions. Are you serious? What? <laughs> button prompts? Like, what? Why? How do I know what button is yes and what button is no? <laughs> if I don't have prompts. <laughs> That's so stupid. What the hell? Ooh, you are very sleepy. You will drive us to McDonald's. I would love to. Yeah, let's let's just uh I wonder if I could somehow stream to Twitch from my phone and we could go to McDonald's. That would be great. Go away! Wait, oh. won't you calm down and listen to me? You heard that noise, didn't you? My room was ransacked. It's Danny. It must be him. There's no doubt about it. Did you see it? I didn't see him, but he's the only one who could have done something like that. Don't you think so, June? Come to think of it, the D on the lighter might be Danny's initial. You better be careful. That's right. That's just the sort of thing that brute would do. But don't mention it to him. I don't want to get involved. What the hell? Why is he talking into a garbage can? Because he's a celestial butterfly. That's why everyone is a floating see-through head. The walkthrough says A is yes and C is no and it's never anything but those. Okay, that's good to know. Why? Why, you're persistent? Oh. I'm busy, I tell you. But it would be different if you wanted to trade something. Let's do business with this. Okay. Ah, oh, fine. What would you like? While I was away, somebody stole a book from my room. So, do you suspect me by any chance? No, I've got a good idea who the culprit is. Oh, so you're a detective now then? Even I could have worked that one out. It's probably Danny. That's the sort of thing he'd do. Leaving a mess. Okay then. I'm busy. See you. What? Love these huge item names. Yeah, like 30% of the screen. <sighs> the difficulty is in the 50-50 for each button prompt. Well, now I know which buttons do it. It's like X for yes and circle for no on my controller. Sister hauls a laptop to McDonald's. Yeah, we'll sit in the car and listen to country AM radio. Nah. I wish I was see-through. I wish I was invisible. That would be nice. You could go anywhere. No one would be able to perceive you. I guess we just leave now. <laughs> uh, that music is still the best in the game so far. I I can't I can't believe how crazy it sounds. It sounds like Rugrats music or something. What do you want, June? Take out the lighter. I have your lighter. Ah, that's mine. Where'd you get it? Found in my room. In exchange for my book. Right, now I want you to own up. Book? What are you on about? Don't be daft. Just give me back my book. Are you saying I stole it? That's ridiculous. June, do you suspect me too? No. June, there's no better proof than the lighter. This guy's lying. 
Just shut it. I don't care if you suspect me. I'm not going to ask you to believe me. It's been like this for a long time. Oh. I'm used to it. But I have something to tell you. When we're on the edge of life and death, do you think there's any law of good and evil? How do you imagine I survived among the ruins where starving people are dying every day? There's no other option apart from stealing. If you don't steal, you die. I've been brought up somewhere else, among other kinds of people. I might have become a better person. If only someone had been my teacher. <laughs> He's crap. Maybe it's a waste of time me saying anything. I've only stolen in order to live. I've got my pride. Thank you, Miami Blofeld. If I your book, I'd have eaten it by now. Thank you. Mind you, no one needs food in this mansion. In spite of all this, do you still suspect me? No. <laughs> What's more, I can't read. I'm sorry I suspected you. Anyway, books are not exactly your scene, are they? Well, it's okay if you understand. You just said he can't We're read. We're right back where we started. Oh my Who god. Who can the real culprit be now, then? <laughs> this is so weird! I think it's that girl because she was acting very strange like early on her her scary story that she told us and her room has been locked ever since like uh we came out of there so i'm kind of wondering if that's it this game feels like somebody explained twin peaks to somebody else in a dream yes and then they they used a dream computer to make the entire game Come on, Bungle. Let's explore more of the mansion. Yeah, this very exciting mansion that has a grand total of like seven rooms that you can go into. And all you do is you go back and forth, room to room, and just go around and see if you press up on everything, if a floating head will appear and give you some like backstory about how he was like living as, as like a gangster in some kind of like Photoshop ruins or something and had to steal. What was what, what was that all about? I don't know. It's like so vague. The the change in style in this game from like being more of just all pre-rendered to having like these strange like photoshopped like just like a bunch of like stock photos like photoshopped together for graphics and like the story segments is very it has a very unusual effect let's go and uh, see if elder is around it's an amazing contrast playing this game and alice back to back yeah <laughs> i think alice is maybe the better game Elder is not here. No advice from Elder. Sean is not in his room. Jossie's not in her room. I guess we go for Emily or whatever her name was. Or we can go to the, the guy with the water room who's acting really weird. It's like nautical themed room. He's not here either. <laughs> what the hell? I guess the only le place left to go is either Mark's room or the child's room. Oh my god, what a game. What is this game? Well, you're back again. There are lots of guests today. Danny was here until just recently. What? Danny's been here? How long ago? Just after you left. So, he was innocent. Has something happened? Well, you see, my book was stolen. A book. And uh, I suspected the culprit was Danny. So, Danny was here. <laughs> you didn't trust Danny? <laughs> How horrid! Why can't 
can't you be friends with him? Are all grown-ups like that? That's right. Mommy and Daddy were always fighting. Huh? I hated to see them like that. I asked them to be good friends, but it didn't seem to make any difference. Mommy was always drinking and never seemed to think about me. But I put up with it. If I'd said something selfish, Mommy would have been sadder and drunk even more, wouldn't she? Anyway, Daddy left home. Mommy used to cry. Must have been really tough for Kathy, especially when she was so small. Poor little thing. Thank you. That's better. <gasps> now I feel sleepy. What? Play with me again sometime, please. That wasn't playing. You were just like telling us about your trauma. I love to drink alcohol from my decorative vase. Yeah, that did not look like an alcohol bottle. Uh, what in the world? Also, I don't seem to be able to say no. Like, uh, I don't know if there's like some kind of problem with the control mapping for uh, RetroArch. According to many of the people I've hung out with in the last couple years, that is, in fact, playing. Oh. <laughs> playing equals spending time together. Okay. I don't think this I don't think it implied she jumped out the window because I think that everyone who comes to the mansion of hidden souls comes here just like like uh as a human like they're they're not dead when they get here as far as I know I don't think so at least Well this walkthrough wanted you to say no to her there so you're on your own now I guess oh great This is, this is so fucked. Like, we're gonna have to look at a walkthrough at some point. I'm just gonna play as long as I can uh, on this without a walkthrough, and then we'll, we'll eventually go to use one of those. Um, hold on, I have to check the controls. Something, I don't know why I can't say no. Like, um, there's this port one controls. Okay, so A is X and B is circle what c is like right bumper that's what i have to press to say no this is insane no 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 absolutely not um x button or a button will be square no wait what the hell is this what a terrible control mapping <laughs> this this will be C button. Um this will be B button. Why in the hell is it like this? This is A button. It makes no fucking sense. <laughs> Why? Uh X button will be the top one. Uh Y button will be L1 and this will be Z all right and then L and R are on the triggers I, I forgot that the Saturn has L and R buttons okay all right that certainly explains uh a lot <laughs> oh my god I think that plenty plenty of the games that we play on stream are good in Ethica. This one is just a mess. The 
This is common with mapping six face button schemes to controllers with four buttons, especially with fighting games, really. Yeah, Hell Knight, the Note, Juggernaut, those were all good, but those unfortunately were like in the first few months of streaming. RetroArch has really bad default Saturn control mapping for some reason. It's, I don't get it. Like, the Saturn buttons are, like, A, B, and C are kind of, like, in a line. Weird. Gadget? Yeah, that was a great game. Uh, Alright, let's continue searching. You exhausted all the good weird games, and now we are in hell. <laughs> uh, Eastern Mind was good, too. That was also very early on, though exactly why I have an N64 controller for retro games. No, those are some video games. Yes, they are. We've played played many good games on here. I mean, we played plenty of bad games early on, too. Oh, hello. Elder. Elder. What's happened to you? Jen, Mike. Something terrible has happened. The crystal. What? Been stolen. Oh yeah, the crystal. crystal. If we don't get it back, it's going to be disastrous. Please. Elder. Elder. What's happened? Who's done this? What? Why? <laughs> Why does something like this have to happen? Whoa! His room is just a black void now? What? This guy's room is Raymond, locked. He's not here. I wonder where he's gone. Maybe he's looking for something for us. I've got to watch all your old FODs before I found you. I mean, we did play a lot of really good games early on. I Sometimes I feel a little bit sad that we went through so many of the June, best ones. Let's not tell Kathy about Elder. Oh. Yeah, children don't know about death. They can't handle it. <sighs> um. I, I just hey, I can't. Come and play with me. Come and play with me. Yes. I'm going to play you a song. Play. This is great. <laughs> wow. That was worth it for all this frustration so far. That was definitely worth it. Thank you, Kathy. What? What? We just got warped out of her room? <laughs> uh, what the hell is going on in this game? Uh... Oh my god. Great dancing emotes. The song is the best part of this game. Uh... I'm sure there's more good games out there. Yeah, there are. It just takes some sifting, I guess. See, this game is good. I mean, it's I'm not I'm not so annoyed with it that hey, I Hey June. Have you any idea why Elder came to this mansion? Uh no. Do you remember? I borrowed a book from Elder. It was written down in there. 
He visited this mansion as a child. He helped out his sister when she wandered off, and she nearly got turned into a butterfly. Oh. But she died during the war. What? Elder became bitter towards human beings and blamed himself. Because if she'd been living here as a butterfly, she wouldn't have got herself killed. For many years, he wandered around the mansion looking for some reminder of his sister. But to have turned out this way. I'm going to find out the truth and carry out the will of Elder, whatever happens. He was the protagonist from the first game. That was insane. Uh, like, I don't know, the, the annoying parts of this game are not bad enough that I don't want to finish it. Like, it's it's fascinating enough that I want to see it through to the end. That's that's a pretty cool little little niblet of uh of backstory. Right, Jossie is still off uh doing whatever it is Jossie does. We just have to systematically go around and look at everything to make sure that we're not missing anything. Oh my. Look, let's not say anything to Sean about Elder's death. Okay. After all, it'll only frighten him. <laughs> he is afraid of absolutely everything. Sean, are you in here cowering? What are you doing? So what happened? Is it Danny? I told you so. But you didn't tell him I told you, did you? Oh, what a relief. I don't like to get involved in trouble, but it's a good idea to let him have a hard time once in a while. It's a bit dangerous to leave it. Oh, but don't tell anybody I said so. How optimistic. I kind of like how this is just a bunch of like uh, deathless like neurotic weirdos living in a mansion together <laughs> and they're all like just I don't know have their own weird shit going on this is kind of cool they're all very dysfunctional weirdos Nizumi hey Nizumi Nizumi at a time like this <laughs> what do we like desperately need his help or something? <laughs> he hasn't been very helpful before. It's the sibling mansion. It's a polycule. Oh no. This game has the oh, same. It's oh. you. Please help me. What? Uh, sure. Me? What's up? He, he said he wants to go back to being a human. That's why I told him how to do it. I never imagined he was trying to make the mansion disappear. Who? Who are you talking about? Raymond. Oh. Raymond? That's impossible. Please. 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 Me. Sure. June, you too. What? Take a look at this. Oh. This, this is Elder's book. You. As you can see, I guess it was wrong of me to blame Danny, but because Raymond asked me, I just wanted to find out how to get back to being a human again. A human? Whoa. The crystal. Only the crystal can neutralize the moon. The light at the core of the crystal will absorb the light from the moon. And when its neutralizing power is strong, it shines more intensely and over a much wider area. All living creatures that benefit from the moon become powerless before the crystal. After a while, it gives eternal peace. Oh. What? I see. The moon's magic power is nothing compared to this. It can wipe out not only Hunter, but the entire mansion. Hang on a minute. You want to go back to being a human, don't you? A human? If the mansion disappears, what will become of us? 
You're all going to die. In any case, you're already half dead. Shut away inside the walls of the mansion, nothing develops or advances. You might as well disappear along with the mansion. So, this was your plan right from the start. All that's left for me to do is to get the crystal and enter the sanctuary. The sanctuary? Raymond, he's planning to get hold of the crystal and then enter the sanctuary. He's going to kill Hunter and make the entire mansion disappear. Somehow, we have to stop him. So Raymond was behind it all. What on earth is he going on about? Half of this is my fault. Is there anything I can do? Yes. Right. I shall save the crystal. It should be in Elder's room. Mizumi, Elder has died. Elder! The crystal's been stolen too. Oh no. Anyway, if we don't get the crystal back from Raymond, it's going to be disastrous. June, let's go to Raymond's. Wait, there is a quick way to Raymond's place. In my room, there's a secret passage that even he doesn't know about. What? Take care. <sighs> oh. <laughs> this game is very unusual. I'm gonna say it's getting a lot more interesting fast though. Now that like there's like some kind of development of the plot and the characters, which there really wasn't too much in the first uh in the first game, I guess. This game has the same plot as the Brave Little Toaster, does it? Uh, I don't know. Why does this room have Animal Crossing mine themed wallpaper? You know, it does it does kind of look like an Animal Crossing house. Like the like dirt floor and walls, but like completely normal furniture. Siblings are fighting over the ownership of the shared big sister. Oh, I guess we flew through a hole in the wall. You guys don't have to fight over me. I wonder where the crystal can be. You can share. Anyway, look for Raymond. Oh. Nizarine is now trapped like a rat. Thank you. Thank you for the follow. Nizarine. Um... I'm willing to bet the crystal is behind that picture. Alright, where's Raymond? He is not here. The man is not here. Siblings need to band together to defeat the big sister raid boss. Why are you trying to kill me? I didn't do anything wrong at all. Come on. Oh. Raymond. Raymond. Done something like this. I can't believe it. It's just that I always respected him so much. He used to tell me about all his adventures. He was a real gentleman. But there has to be some mistake. I can't think otherwise. Yeah? What? What was that? It's okay, they have Trank weapon equipped. I'm scared. You guys are hunting me? Your 50 foot body is casting a shadow upon my balcony. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll get out of the way so you can enjoy the sunshine. <sighs> Jim, do you want to eat an apple? Yes. I'm not giving it to you. What? Of looking after Kathy. <laughs> he's he's starting to get pissed off. Yeah. 
This one has creepy human faces. Yes, it does. They're quite unsettling. Hi, Pancake. Oh. It's Toho rules. If we defeat you, we will become friends. Friends? When? H. <laughs> I'm going to tell you the secret of the mansion. There's no toilet. <laughs> what? <laughs> Thank you, Kathy. Kathy's room reminds me of the Apple Market from Mega Man Legends. Not familiar with it. Oh, the music? I don't know. I haven't seen that game in a long time. Uh, I just the couch also. I've just noticed the couch is on the floor. There's like no legs on the couch. It's like you if you sat down on that couch, on that couch, you would just have your legs stretched out in front of you, like you were just sitting on the floor. Very weird. Beanbag couch. I guess so. If you want to style it that way, maybe you could you could spin it that way. Uh, little door boo. And asked the gas up. Couldn't afford the wood legs, yeah. All of the furniture in here is like that. What did she say? She said the secret of the mansion is that there's no toilet. <laughs> she's, not, she's not wrong. There's enough leg room. The shag carpeting is just very thick. <laughs> <laughs> like knee knee deep shag carpeting. Uh, this is like uh, the opposite end of the spectrum from like uh, the Alone in the Dark games, where every one of them would always have bathrooms in the house that had nothing in them. Yay! Reset cookies. What? <sighs> Is Jossie still here? No, she's just gone. We'll just go everywhere. We'll go everywhere. In the entire game, we'll go everywhere and look at everything until we find Raymond, I guess. Maybe we'll go talk to Sean. Maybe Sean saw Raymond and is now cowering in his room. I think every other room should be an empty bathroom you have to enter to progress the story. <laughs> I was referring to sensors getting flipped back on and blanking out shag and thick. Oh, okay. Did it actually do that? Oh my god, do people actually say shag anymore? Outside of like Austin Powers? Yes, it did. Oh my god! Uh, oh my god. I guess you become a butterfly if you hold it in too long. Shagadelic, yeah, baby. Twitch sensors are creative. Very interesting. Seems like uh, Nazumi is not here. Why does he have like an overturned table in his room? There's a very cursed Austin Powers pinball for PS1. Uh Probably has plenty of audio clips since it's on a CD-ROM. Has something been stolen again? <laughs> well, Elder's crystal's been stolen. What? I suppose I'm the culprit again, am I? No. It may be hard to believe, but Raymond is the culprit. And after murdering Elder, he's on his way to the sanctuary. Raymond? It was wrong of me to suspect you. I'm sorry. Apart from that, why should anybody murder Elder? Has Raymond gone completely insane? <laughs> Raymond's going to destroy the mansion. 
We have to stop him quickly. But what can we do? If that's the case, let's put him inside the gemstone of rebirth. Right. What? Like when we were transformed from human beings to butterflies. Until his body has been transformed. It cut us off from the human world outside and smothered us. Right. The gemstone of rebirth. That's a kind of umbilical cord for us. So Raymond must have looked after it well. Let's go and find it. And if we try and put him inside it, he won't be able to do anything. He'll be trapped like a baby in his mother's womb. <laughs> right. I'll look as well. I you know, avenge Elder. Between uh, alter ego I yesterday. Hope he's okay. I hope he doesn't do anything reckless. But between uh, alter ego yesterday and them saying unbirthday on Alice in the Wonderland today, and then this game about being a, you will be trapped like a baby in your mother's womb. There's a lot of womb going on in this last this this weekend. I don't know what's going on, but <laughs> the unbirthing of Raymond. <laughs> umbilical you know the only i the only time i ever heard someone pronounce it that way before was in the xtc song uh season cycle i always thought that that was like a strained rhyme but maybe british people actually do say umbilical uh <laughs> let's see raymond bury the bear the burden of the cross uh <laughs> yonic march real womb core streams lately uh Oh my god. Shall we play Undernight Inbirth on Wednesday then? <laughs> Undernight Unbirth. We don't say it like that. Oh. <laughs> Who the hell says umbilical then? The Grand Graphy Unbirthing stream is coming next weekend, is it? <laughs> Sean, what's the matter? I've heard from Danny. We're all going to be killed by Raymond, aren't we? Calm down, Sean. Look, it's okay. We're going to stop Raymond. Honestly, there's nothing to worry about. But the time may well come when we'll need your help. So don't worry. Help us. Huh? Oh, no. No, I don't want to do it. It's impossible. Of course we can. This is the mansion which makes all your dreams come true. Anything is possible if you wish for it. If we leave Raymond at large and the mansion is ruined, we're all going to die. <laughs> so if we want to stop him, we're going to have to fight. Can we do it? I wonder. <gasps> yes, I understand. I'm a bit scared, though. You're scared of everything. This is the watch I was given by the painter who used to live in the mansion oh, a long no. time ago. I used to like him very much. He didn't look down on me. He never bullied me. He was kind. Jim, Mike, take it with you. It will protect you. Does this mean that we're on a time limit now? Whoa. Thank you, Sean. Watch. in the first game when we got the uh when we got the watch it meant that we were on a time limit <laughs> his face is so funny it looks like bad flash photography yeah sean uh i think in particular is very unfortunate looking character <laughs> it looks very strange his chin is disappearing into his neck it looks like he's permanently recoiling <laughs> from something I mean, he is supposed to be a freaky cat Maybe that's part of uh part of his characterization. 
You are doing the things in this walkthrough, just in a different order. Does it mention a time limit? Is there a time limit? Your responses don't seem to matter that much. Oh man. What is this shit? Maybe we'll get a different ending at the end though or something. I guess Jossie is just gone. Like she has not been here in quite some time. Oh. God, it's so slow. Should we talk to Nezumi now? Like, is there any point in going in here? We talked to Sean. Uh, Danny has gone off somewhere. Yeah, Nezumi is not here. I haven't seen anything about a time limit. Okay, that's good to know. How did Alice end up, by the way? Uh, we made a little progress, but the way that the walkthrough was written was, like, very... Just, like, hard to read at a glance. Because, like, everything was written as, like, long paragraphs. So I'm gonna have to, like, edit the walkthrough myself to make it, like, a bulleted list of what to do. And, um... We'll, we'll go back to it on Wednesday, probably. It seems like it's quite a long game. So... I wasn't able to finish it today. Let's go back in here for a sec. Dairy. Yay. Yay. Do you want some help with editing that? Nah, it'll be okay. I'm just gonna like break it down into line by line um, instructions for like what to do. It should be easy, but thank you. I think you mentioned like mapping out panic. Yeah, I was gonna do that too, but that's that is gonna be so annoying. I can't ask anybody to do that because that would require that would require going through every minute of the video and seeing um what buttons I clicked on every screen. That would be so tedious. I Kathy, oh what's up? what? June, it's the same thing that happened to Elder. Kathy's so tiny, she's got no resistance. What are we gonna do? Oh, please help me. Oh, it hurts. Whoa. You'll be okay. Do your best. Keep thinking of something you like, something that's important to you. Repeat over and over again. I'm going to live. I'm going to live. Strongly and, and clearly. We grown-ups are gonna help you. Kathy's gonna keep going, aren't you, Kathy? Okay, June, let's get a move on. Oh my. <laughs> Oomphy dying. No! No! Not Kathy! Thank you for the offer though, Mage. I just, I couldn't put that kind of tedium on, on anybody. Uh, go to Raymond's? Wish my bed was in a separate curtained nook in my room. Wouldn't that be nice? What? June, have you found it? Right. <laughs> we can protect the mansion with this. The gemstone of rebirth. The gemstone Raymond too. of unbirth. Where is Raymond? Where the hell did he go? I guess we go to Nazumi's room and see if he's there. I like the music in here. It's cool. It's like kind of uh, slightly detuned piano music. All right, Nazumi is not here. Is Sean around? Okay, Sean is not here. 
you can eat all the apples now. Yeah, I'm just gonna take them and I'll just swallow the entire apple. I'm just like, bloop. And then all of the rest of the apples. I'm glad that the music in Mark's room changed to like some harpsichord music. That's fun. Um. I guess Jossie is just like left the game <laughs> entirely. Welcome. Oh. <gasps> what is it this time? Jossie? Elder has been killed. Is that so? Such a thing can happen in a place like this far away from the mundane world. I was happy with my peaceful life here. Now it's all changing. Even if you change your shape into that of a butterfly, you're still basically a human being. Slave to desire, seeking excitement, unable to part from mundane things. Wait a minute. I can hear Elder's voice. Jossie? Elder is calling both of you. Jossie, Elder is no more. It's all right. Just go quickly. Okay. To Elder's room, I guess? Such a thing can happen in a place like this. Yes. Maybe save first? Okay. What is Soul Nanoka? Is that, is it really so or something like that? Oh, hold on a sec. I sneezed. I denied you it though. Sneeze denial. I'm feeling withholding today. This music makes me want to, like, prance. Our precious sneeze! Gone forever! Ah. Are we, like, almost at the end of the game or something? It makes you France. Jill, Mike, welcome. My final mission is to lead you to the Sanctuary. But it is beyond my control, and has been closed off by the Moon's magic powers. The room that lost its master is now the pathway leading to the Sanctuary. All we need is the crystal, which can repel the Moon's magic powers. But, Elder... Um... We don't have the crystal. The crystal is not something unique. A good heart, a strong mind, and a pure soul. These all have the same power as the crystal. That's right. You can create the crystal within your own heart. What? Three o'clock. Simple and clean starts playing. What? What is this room? Hi there. Do you like this painting? I painted this. Everyone is individually painting his own mind inside himself. In this room, you can see them all. You should be able to see your own here. What? That's You're the one Sean was talking about. Sean? Yes, I remember him. Is he still a very wild sort of boy? Hey, that's my watch, isn't it? 
the painter. Sean's strong will has made it possible for me to meet you. The painting you have in your mind seems rather ugly. It has suspicious eyes, a sarcastic smile, and is holding a knife which could hurt someone. But that sort of human is not at all welcome in this mansion. It is a sort of a problem. That sort of person is not welcome in this mansion. I will, however, help you as Sean brought you here. I will repaint your minds with my brush. I'm going to turn them into beautiful minds. But you must paint your own mind all by yourself. If you don't, the paintings will soon disappear, even though I painted them. You must remember this point. Basically, now you say yes for the ending or no for a game over? What do you mean? I see now. Elder, thank you. The crystal's power was within me all along. Elder. That was nuts. Was the game making the painting based off of like profiling me based on my my actions or something is that the point of the yes and no questions all right i guess we can't do anything with kathy here you said no to playing with that girl a single time and now you're a maniac with a knife Used your alter ego save state. Oh no. <laughs> we're doomed. We were very bad in alter ego. Seems like Nazumi is not here, as always. He's never here. I think I've come around on this game quite a bit. Like, I don't think it's as good as the first game, but it has its own fascinating, special personality and like, Something about the, the graphics and like the weird floating heads and like all the Photoshop graphics and all that stuff is like, uh, I don't know. It's very, very interesting. <laughs> There's one decision point left and it's supposed to be between real ending and bad ending. That's it? Like the game's almost over already? I, I guess the, the first game was not very long either. I think that uh, Lunacy was quite a bit longer than either of these, really. Let's go save our game again, so we can see both endings. Um, I do think that deciding to make the static frames where you stop and are just like looking in a particular direction just be like a frame of compressed video is like an ugly and bad move when they, they could have just made a single static render, like a single just picture to, to like kind of replace it. I don't know. It's the Dark Souls 2 of Mansion of Hidden Souls, yes. I do like Dark Souls 2. I think that is a good game, even though a lot of people seem to think it is uh, not as good. Yeah, that's the only reason I said save. Oh, okay. Thank you for the uh, the direction. I do appreciate it. Maybe we just have to go back to uh, Elder's room. But also, the painter was mentioning Sean by name. Oh. What a beautiful place. Beautiful. Wherever I. I. How mysterious. Wow. I am not influenced by the moon's magic powers. Yet this scene which spreads itself before us is nothing but a world of fantasy. Human beings have the ability to be creative. This must be one of those miracles which they have created. It's a miracle. I'm delighted that at last I'm able to walk with you in this way. Please continue to carry out my will and protect the mansion. Mike, come here. 
Come over here, quickly. This really is goodbye. Wow. So this is the sanctuary. Hunter, come out from your hiding place. That's Raymond's voice. That's Raymond, isn't it? But what? Ha ha ha. If you don't come out, I shall make the entire sanctuary disappear. I'm not going to let it happen. June, the gemstone of rebirth. June, I understand why you're hesitating, but we must get a move on. <laughs> I'll do it if you won't. This is, it feels very Kingsfield. This reminds me of like a Kingsfield 3 area or something. who regard this place as a refuge. No one who has become a butterfly should ever laugh at those who remain living. Raymond must have been out of his mind to have acted as he did. <laughs> he escaped. Look out. What? Wow. Wow. What? posing as master of the mansion, I had to put up with being treated as a freak with half a body. Just look at this ugly shape it will never reproduce. I do not have your creative powers. That's why I came here to get rid of you. You're my other self who left me with everything you didn't want and ran away. <laughs> so, it was all your doing. The residents I took advantage of seem to have lost their trust in me. In the depths of their consciousness, they didn't deny me totally. They were struggling to get out of the cage known as the mansion. They could see your true nature. I can just imagine why you had to separate yourself from me. You couldn't accept a conscious human being as a victim, but you're preying upon them. The thing is, human beings and us, we're incompatible. We're predators. What? But it's not the act of an animal who hunts his prey. But it's only when drifters come here seeking salvation and when they choose to die rather than seek eternal life. Only then does my body fuse with theirs. Those butterflies are also your prey, aren't they? You devour like the beast, I did it for myself. We would have died if we hadn't saved you. You're really not honest, are you? You were the one who wanted to save the mansion, weren't you? Right. You're not going to kill us. I'll be the one who decides. 
If you're going to get me, it'll be my own decision. What? I love it here. Hunter is everybody's daddy. <laughs> this is my home. <laughs> you should become the elder of the mansion. You have to take on Elder's will. That's right, June. Thank you. June's going to be the elder. Strange. Will you be an old man? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. It's come to this. It's all my fault, even Elder and Mike. Raymond! What are you talking about? It's not your fault. Your obsession made you do it. You mustn't be too hard on yourself. No, it was all my fault. I cannot remain in this mansion any longer. What do you mean? I don't seem to feel quite the same way as everyone else. In fact, for some time I've actually been thinking about leaving the mansion. This very idea may have brought about these events. Raymond! Surely this is a place of peace. But somehow, I don't feel at ease here. Time. Time seems to be frozen. I really find myself totally unable to fit in here in this world. I should never have come. No, no, I should never have come. I should never have come. Hunter, I will dedicate my life to you. I'm sorry, June. This is the life you saved, but this is goodbye. Raymond? Don't be so silly. Are you serious? That is what I intend to do. Are you really sure? You wanted something different, didn't you? Raymond wants to leave. It doesn't mean he wants to die. That's enough. I wasn't really thinking. I made the wrong decision. If I'm going to stay here any longer, I'd rather die. What? Leave the mansion if you want to. What? But in the form of a butterfly. Your lifespan will be the same as that of a butterfly from the moment you leave the mansion. You may finish your short life without going anywhere. Do you still want to leave? If I can only get out, I don't mind having a shorter life. Let's get you home. Is that us? Whoa! Cool rotation. This game is awesome! This looks like Kingsfield graphics. Like, that whole area reminded me of like Kingsfield 3 for some reason. Wah! What is going on? So what ending did we get? Mike, the Hierophant. That's... Elder, the Emperor. Kathy, the Lover. Nezumi, the Hermit. He didn't really come off like a Hermit. Jossie, the Magician. Danny. The strength. Sean, the hanged man. Raymond, the tower. Hunter, the sun. Hunter just like is like an alien guy or something? Like Tandolia. Tandola, the moon. Oh my. Wow, that was beyond anything I ever could have imagined. I'm really glad I 
decided to finish this. There was a very the game made a terrible first impression. Oh, Hunter should be everyone's daddy. <laughs> the way that it said that, uh, you know, at the beginning, this game made a really bad first impression, and I was not, I was not at all impressed. But uh, I think this game turned out pretty good. I think this this was pretty cool, actually. The end, and it had no bad puzzles, at least. Hello, Mercy. Thank you for the stretch and the hydration. What a, what a strange game. <laughs> very, very, like, even compared to, to Lunacy and uh, the first mansion of Hidden Souls. Oh, my. <laughs> what a game. Whew. Ugh. The, using the crystal is the yes ending, but I guess you didn't press anything and Mike just did it for you? Like, does, does any, is there anything different? Like, about the ending? They aren't showing the back of the head because it's not textured, I bet. Yeah, I kept wondering about that because uh, the head graphics, I think they were real-time graphics. Like, I think they were actually using the 3D capabilities of the Saturn, but, like... You know, they, they're they using the entire horsepower on just the head, like the front of the head. I don't think there's a difference. The only other thing it says is that saying no gives a game over. What? We didn't even get a game over, though. That was a great ending, though. Great. Uh, Very fascinating. Like, uh, like kind of became weirdly, like, touching. And, uh... I don't know. It's not like we exactly got like that much characterization of all of these characters, but like I don't know. It kind of it made me a little bit like emotional. I don't know. I th I think that was that was very interesting, fascinating, uh, very very odd. Playing the game not very fun. Just going around checking every location until something happens. Same gameplay as Lunacy, the exact same the exact same thing. Just go everywhere until something happens. Great. Nope. I don't think anybody likes doing that. Juggernaut had the same gameplay. Why? Is this like just the alternative to puzzles? Like instead of puzzles, you just go everywhere until something happens. I, I don't know. <clears throat> you missed an earlier possible game over where you get eaten by Sean's Venus flytrap. Oh my. What, can, what circumstances does that happen under weird can we see the game over i bet there's a cutscene. i don't know i pressed i was trying to press the no button and i didn't do anything and then the, the ending happened anyway so i don't i don't know if a game over really happens nothing happens like i i tried pressing the button that's that says no and nothing happens so <sighs> love it when there's a fantasy thing and then at the very end you get the slightest Vegas most implicit hint that aliens caused it. Yeah, there are a lot of dungeon crawlers like that. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for the pats. Um, that was a very good, very good ending, though. Yes. I was going to ask if any of this was in the first one. Uh, Avalon Trigger. Yes, uh, Hunter was mentioned in the first one, but only briefly and showed up for like a second and had some dialogue. Uh, But that's... Uh, that's about it. And th and this is very strange compared to the first game. It felt like uh, someone else came in and like started just taking a bunch of stuff and like, uh, you know, running off in some crazy direction with like the source material from the first game or something. Crazy, crazy game. Are we sure? No was correctly bound. Yes, I am absolutely sure. Look. I'll show you right now. It was B, A, A was yes, and B was no. Port 1 controls. Uh, A is square, B is X, and uh, C was the right button, I think. Yeah, C button. Unless C was no? Really? I was hitting B for no the entire time? All right, we'll go back and we'll uh, we'll get the other one. We established this hours ago in one message. I don't remember that shit. Especially when the controls were broken initially. 
All right, we'll go back and get the bad ending, okay? We will do it. We have the save game. Don't worry. Um, let's see. Uh, continue. I'm going to put it on easy mode. We'll see. Was it save three? You didn't answer no a single time in the game. I mean, like, Mark would uh, respond for us, usually. So the gemstone of rebirth. Okay, let's go, I guess. Only say no this time. Yeah, I wonder what the outcome would be. I'm, I'm really wondering if the painting in the painter's gallery changes based on how you uh, interact with people. I want to see about Sean's Venus flytrap, because... I didn't see a Venus flytrap in his room. He had some plants, but like every time I tried to interact with them, nothing happened. It's like that indie game where you spend the whole time saying no. What do you mean? Don't know if I know what you're referring to. Uh, nothing seems to be happening with the uh, the plants there. We have no other items. Just the gemstone of rebirth. <sighs> it's the indie game where you spend the whole time saying no to people. Huh. Huh. I've not heard of that. Well, I guess we'll watch the entire insane ending up to that point again, and we'll see what happens. What a beautiful place. Yeah, this is beautiful. I love this. Where are we? It's so beautiful. How mysterious. <sighs> We are not influenced by this looks like Sega powers. CD footage. Yet this scene which spreads itself before us is nothing but a world of fantasy. fantasy. Human beings have the ability to be created. This must be one of those miracles which they have created. It's a miracle. I'm delighted that at the last <sighs> I'm able to move with you in this way. Please continue to carry out my will and protect the mansion. Mike, come here. Come over here, quickly. This really is goodbye. Goodbye. Go to Sean's room and talk to him. When he asks if the culprit was Danny, tell him no. If you tell him yes, he will, so and that you told Danny that Sean suspected Hunter, him. Come out from your hiding Sean place. will have his Venus flytrap kill you. What? Trained, isn't it? <laughs> oh my but god. What? Ha ha ha. If you don't come out, I shall make the entire sanctuary disappear. <laughs> I'm not gonna let it happen. Right. June, the gemstone of rebirth. I'm pressing no. Yes. All right, what's gonna happen? What? That's it? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine forgetting to save here and accidentally pressing the wrong button. I feel like with how odd the controls are in this game, it would be pretty easy to just not realize you can save your game or something. Do you want to lose? Why end? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Like, I feel like there could have been a more interesting ending. Maybe they just didn't have time. Maybe they just didn't have time to render an entire another cutscene. Because, like, uh, as uh, strange as the graphics in this game may be, and seemingly kind of, like, rudimentary for the time period, like, uh, that probably took an incredible amount of effort to make that whole ending cutscene. <sighs> this game is, like, 40 seconds long, if you know what you're doing, yeah? If you can just go to every specific point you need to go to. Same thing with the first game, and same thing with Lunacy, too. Let's uh let's let's go back to um the the room, the save room. We'll just we'll just listen to this nice music. Um That's a good backdrop. I think this is pretty good. So, I mean kind of a a little shorter stream today, but I'm I don't know. I feel like I've I don't know. I'm 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 good on playing video games for the day. I think. Uh, 
short and sweet. Yeah. Uh, I don't have a save. I don't have a save that is uh, close enough to the Venus flytrap now, unfortunately. Um. Yeah. I don't know. I think I. I still want to maybe take it a little easy with streaming for the time being because of, you know I've already talked about this, but. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay to not go to six hours. I don't know what else I would do with a, with another 90 minutes of streaming anyway. We can just talk for a little bit though. I guess we have a little a little talking segment. <clears throat> though uh, I think listening to this music for very long is going to make us all crazy. Hi Graffy. Hi Nico. Well, I hope you all had a very nice Sunday today. Uh, I might go to McDonald's after I am done streaming or maybe later. I think I got to go get lettuce for my rabbit at some point and I prefer to go to the store at night so that there's less people there. <laughs> McDonald's. I just got back from the anime store. Did you get anything? We have food at home. I guess so, but but lettuce. Food at home. The rabbit. No! Never! Oh my. Well, I guess uh, on Wednesday probably we will be playing uh, more of Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> Foot lettuce for rabbit. No! <laughs> She'll get sick. So um, I'll reformat the guide for that game and probably be able to get through it a little faster. We'll be playing that and um, hmm. I'll be thinking about what else we'll be playing on the weekends because probably by then we will be done with Alice as well. Possibly. I don't know. I got a Mimikyu model kit and a wonky figure of a girl with glasses from some 2002 show. Hmm. Do you know what the show is? Foot lettuce? Cerebro's eyes light up. <laughs> Thank you for the stream. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, again, this game, I had a bad first impression of this game. I really didn't like it. I think it turned out, I think it turned out pretty cool. Like, it has its own identity that's, like, very distinct from both Lunacy and from the first mention of Hidden Souls game. Even though it's technically a sequel, it's, like, very different in feeling and tone. It has a little more personal than either of them. And it's not like the characterization in this game is, like, gonna knock your socks off or anything, but, uh... I, I don't know, I felt like it added something. There was a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of, like, a uh, humanity to it that was... I know. I kind of got into it as the as the time went on. Ah. Fascinating, fascinating game. I wonder uh, if if there's more cutscenes we could have gotten from the other characters about their backstory because we got a cutscene for the backstory of uh danny and from uh what was her name kathy we bought we got backstory from both of them but not for sean and not for elder or jossie or raymond or no we did get backstory for raymond also he was like oh i traveled all over this world very good stream Having structure is good, but shorter streams aren't bad if we don't have a lot in mind anyway. Yeah, I feel like scrambling to come up with something else to just fill time with would be like... Kind of pointless, I guess. I don't know. Feels like it would just be... It would just be going a little too far. Okay, I don't think I can take this music anymore as much as I like it. Uh, let's, let's put on the classic. We'll, we'll get on... Uh... Just close this. Yeah, there we go. Uh, oh no, links are links are not uh possible in chat Zoda, sorry. <laughs> Norman Gander liking the idea of those figures. 
wonder if it was being made for 32X or Sega CD before it became a Saturn game. I mean, probably... It was probably just Saturn from the jump, because uh, I don't think 32X could handle a game like this. It's funny when the first one is like, hey, no, becoming a butterfly is bad. Yeah, like the whole thing of the plot was like, we are, we are doing everything in our power to stop our sister from becoming a butterfly. <laughs> uh, who was Michael? I felt bad that I didn't know him when everyone was crying about him. He was the, he was the British guy who was with us. That was like, Sean, where is he? He's always, he's always hiding. He's always hiding. Where could Raymond be? We need to find the Stone of Rebirth. That guy was... I couldn't stand him. So annoying. Platformer game on CD system. Music track that lasts 40 minutes. Adventure game on CD system. Five second music loop. I don't know why they couldn't have, like, done something more with the music in both of these games. They both had, like, very short music loops for every room. Theme of Grappy. Yeah, I made this. I made Out of Phase from Parasite Eve. Let's, uh... Let's see. <laughs> Monday's screen cap of Kathy's miserable face. Sci-fi author. In my book, I invented the Torment Nexus as a cautionary tale, tech company. At long last, we have created the Torment Nexus from classic sci-fi novel, Don't Create the Torment Nexus. Yes. Yes. Uh, that, that was a good tweet. That's a good figure. Her glasses look a little strange. She kind of looks like slightly melted, Zoda. Very odd looking. Um. Maybe he died because he used the stone instead of you. I wonder if I could have used it instead of him because he was like, oh, if you're not gonna do it, then I will. So fucking true, it hurts. Huh? Music equivalent of programmer art. Oh, the, the Torment Nexus, I see. Thinking about the plushy tenderizer. I got her because her melty face made me laugh. Good. <laughs> she is melting just a little for our enjoyment. How? To be a slightly melted glasses girl. Uh. If you say yes, you have to use it from your inventory. I wonder if anything is different then. Because uh, I just, I said yes, and then he was like, aren't you going to use it? If you aren't, then I will. So, I wonder if there was like a another another possibility there. You know, there's like that company Palantir that is just named after the evil, like, eye that you use to spy on people from Lord of the Rings. I don't know. Seems like a bit- the people have probably been, already been over this like a million times, but I just can't imagine being so brazenly fucking evil that you'd- you'd, you'd call it that. It's like calling like a new armored police vehicle the Death Star or something like that. The Killdozer. I don't know. <sighs> no, crushes the crystal in your hand like an apple. Yeah, I just suddenly crushed the crystal and that was just it. After getting into tech, I have found out that yes, everyone is that clueless. <sighs> As sad. <laughs> this is very depressing. 
kind of incentivized to be clueless, right? Yeah, I guess the pay is very high for that kind of company, probably. You want a lot of money? Well, you will have to be a criminal against humanity. Oh, okay. I want a lot of money. <laughs> Maniac cop. Oh my god, that... <laughs> that movie. Uh, I watched that a long time ago because uh, I think like I, there was some actor that I knew that was in it and I watched it and I was like this is this is so like just like a nothing empty movie <laughs> it was very weird that was I think that was probably one of those movies that I got through Netflix like DVD service or something I was like I don't know why did I do this um Hey, you know what we could do? Let's see if this will work. I haven't had one of these in a while. Why not? <laughs> I'll get myself out of the way. This is uh, Switzerland to Italy. I think I've watched this video in my own time before. you are uh, unaware, this used to be a stream tradition. At the end of streams, we would usually watch a train ride video. <laughs> Take us to Batman, big sister. Like... The, the Batman? The new Batman? PS2Netflix.iso I don't think we can watch Princess Night dub on stream, because, uh, copyright. Fabled train stream. I wanted to say, Grappy, how long since we didn't have a train stream? Yeah, it's, it's been a long time. It's been a long time. I guess this is the route? Some scary noises. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Hey Monday, welcome back. Makes my night. I'm glad. I'm glad. POV, you are trying to drive a train, but Graffy is in front of it. <laughs> I thought that the visual of me being in front of the in front of the video would be kind of funny, but also I want you guys to be able to see the full video. There's the train. We should watch meat tenderizer videos. All right, I'll 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 put on a video of a meat tenderizer and turn it to 50% opacity and put it over the train video. And then I'll also put a YouTube poop that's muted over the top of that at 25% opacity. Huh. Growing up, I had dreams about train or car rides through places like this. And they're very beautiful. Uh, the... You know, the quality is is apparently correct, but it doesn't look... It looks kind of compressed. Maybe, uh... Yeah, that's just how it is. How long is this video? Two hours. We're not going to be here for two hours. But we'll watch, we'll watch some of this. 
Princess Knight. I remember you recommending it ages ago. I do like the manga a lot. It's very strange. The the anime dubbed was ex extremely strange and, and very overstimulating, but it was very it was very fun to watch. Were those cool highlights before strapping in? I guess so. LMAO Graphy. Graphy. Graphy, do you know how meat tenderizer works? No? It's basically like that Kafka story about cruel and unusual punishment. What? <laughs> yes, stunts. There's train again. The train to Station Square is departing. I used to know a dude who would watch a 3x3 grid of anime, documentaries, and Tarkovsky movies at the same time on his MacBook. Why? <laughs> uh, it was back when the English translation first came out. A lot of a lot of his stuff got localized and then it went out of print. So much of of Tezuka's stuff is totally out of print now. Like uh, a lot of Blackjack, at least the last time I checked, most of Blackjack is out of print and had like such a limited print run that um a lot of the volumes cost like a hundred dollars or something now. Like it's ridiculous. They they infl inflated in price so much. Bushy, who only reads Kafka. This is just like In the Penal Colony by Kafka. I've only read uh, The Bug. Can't even remember what it's called, I don't know why. The Bug by Franz Kafka. Metamorphosis, that's right. I think I read that in school like a long time ago. That's all that I've ever read by him. I feel like I remember they had to do Kickstarters or whatever for different Tezuka runs. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember that as well for specific, um, specific ones. I, I think I remember some like lesser known stuff. Vertical lost the license. Oh man, is anybody does anybody have that license? Like, is it is anything being newly like localized or? That's sad. <laughs> Yeah, they had they had good covers and like uh I lend you my Dororo volume. Cool. I've always been curious about that. <laughs> the Entomorph. Bad Mojo by Franz Kafka. <laughs> I was gonna play Bad Mojo on stream, but a super great friend played it on uh and I just watched him play through it. And that was uh that was good enough for me. That game is insane though. <laughs> absolutely disgusting game i i really appreciate the idea of using using uh g the medium of games to make just a repulsively absolutely repellently foul and disgusting game it is so disgusting Not gonna lie, this train video is making me want to go into the woods near my house at 1 in the morning. Why? For what purpose? Sounds kind of creepy. I recently purchased the very bad official Evangelion parody gag manga. Which one? The Shinji Ikari Raising Project? Or are you talking about, uh, there's like another one. There's like multiple, like, side mangas for Evangelion. Bad Mojo is like if there was a game adaptation of R slash Battle Stations, yes. Uh, a bad Mojo, Emily. A game where you turn into a cockroach and you walk around as a cockroach in a bunch of like extremely filthy environments. Because I want to go into the woods right now and it's late at night. Is that legal? Most parks here at sundown, you're not allowed to be there anymore. It was bad to play. Maybe stream it for other people can be fun. Yeah. That's, I mean, a lot of games are, 
you know, it's it's easier to stick with them and see the good in them when you stream them than if you just play them on your own and you're just kind of like dejectedly crawling through them by yourself. Uh. It's so upsetting. It's not a park, it's just a nature reserve. Oh. I hate the sundown rule. I would definitely skate in them at night otherwise. I better set this to uh, loop. Or we can just have no music and just the sound of the train if you want. I don't know what you, what you guys would prefer. Huh. I want train sound. Okay, I'll crank it up. A lot of the time, when my neighbor starts making a lot of noise at night, I'll turn on train videos and just turn them up, like, so that the, the ambient sound of the train and, like, the movement on the tracks will sort of, like, muffle his noise. So every night, at exactly 11.30pm, I hear him come inside, and then I hear him drop his shoes on the floor very loudly, and then he stomps across the apartment and immediately turns on his TV, and then I hear, like, like, the Peanuts parents speaking through like a megaphone for like the next three hours. You hear him come inside. Yeah, that's what I said, stunts. That's exactly what I meant. Ugh. Had it mixed up. DQ did a gig again on a Kitaro release around the same time as the Dororo one. I want to lay face down in this grass. Yeah, it looks very, like, healthy kind of grass, doesn't it? Nice grass. Nice trees. <sighs> He's just watching Charlie Brown specials all day, every day. I mean, it literally, like, it's weird because I never hear any kind of, like, music or sound effects. It's literally only just, like, people talking. I wonder if he's just, like, watching, like, a... YouTube podcasts or something on his TV or something like that? Have you guys ever, like, passed a car where, like, the person inside the car is listening to talk radio, but they have the speakers up so loud that you can, like, literally hear everything that the person in this radio station is saying from, like, 10 feet away when they have their windows rolled up? It's, like, so extreme like i don't know who needs to have the experience of being surrounded by a person shouting at your entire body it's like it's so weird uh hey mocha how you doing touch grass grass he's watching unintelligible empanada truck four hours Touch graph. <laughs> yes. Touch me. Thank you for the bits. <laughs> yeah, this is this is Switzerland. The the train line goes from Switzerland to uh to Italy. Hi Timmy. See, we are sightseeing. Yeah, we finished uh, We finished the game like way early, so I just decided to have a little chat and watch a train video since we have not done this in so long. It's been a very long time since we watched a train video on stream. Telling the guy in the car to turn that shit up so I can rock out to it. <laughs> uh, there are so many things about normie car use I do not understand. Yeah, like people on the interstate where like Everyone is already going 10 miles per hour over the speed limit because of, like, the pressure of everyone driving like a maniac. And then there's someone who's driving, like, even more of a maniac who is, ta is like, treating it like they're playing Spy Hunter or something. And they're, like, just, like, literally, like, weaving in between cars with, like, inches of clearance on and any of the, the passes. Like, going, you know, like, 80, 90 miles per hour in the middle of the night or something. I don't know. What drives people to drive like that? so weird like sitting in the thing idling it for 15 minutes yes uh. uh. 
I have neighbors who just sit in their cars outside the building for a long time. And there was somebody who, like, uh, I noticed I would come back to the building a lot and their car would just be idling with no one in it outside the building. I don't know what, I have no idea why. That happened multiple times. And it was like, it was not even in winter or anything to, like, warm it up. <clears throat> I almost spat tea everywhere. <laughs> well, no. The Batman of Hidden Souls is already over? Yeah. It was uh, it was very short. It, I think it only lasted like two hours, maybe, in total. Oh, Andy. I like trains too. Aren't they nice? <laughs> I would like a chance to ride one again someday. Um, we don't have very good trains in the United States, so... I've only ever ridden a train in uh, Alaska, which was actually very nice. It was so long, I thought it was an urban legend. What? The game? Or... I should try stream transport fever in the server again. Yeah, please do that. Please, please. <clears throat> you mean the guy from the Money Longer Highway video? What is that? <laughs> Never heard of that. Graffy on the Autobahn. What will she do? I don't know. Drive the drive the speed that feels safe for me. <clears throat> Y'all ever sit in your truck? I, I believe if I had a truck, I probably would do that. Was it good? You know, Mocha, it made a bad first impression, but I think that the game was good overall. It had a it had a special a special unique feeling to it. It wasn't just like a a copy of the first game or anything like that. The gameplay was was pretty bad, but I, I thought it was interesting and cool. I miss train. The light rail is a sorry substitute. Yeah, I mean, light rail often doesn't really go as far as you'd like it to, but um, I don't know. Sometimes I watch footage of um, the MARTA lines in Atlanta, Georgia, where I used to live, because it's nostalgic for me. I miss riding the train there a lot. It's, uh, it was a nice train ride. I think we watched one of those on stream one night. I, I distinctly remember pointing out that I remembered the same vi having watched the same video before because there's like two guys on the train and they keep saying something about like disrespecting like, like are you disrespecting me or something like that but then they start acting really friendly with each other <laughs> it's very strange uh, I want to just stay on a train for a day take it cross country Thankfully, being from the UK, we have several trains to ride. Very nice. Lucky, lucky. Seems like a good way to travel there. I like the very slight, smooth tilt of the camera on this vid. Is it tilted? It's kind of like the rails are not quite like centered in the view, but I don't see the tilt. You visit me, and we ride the train to the opposite side of the country. Yeah, sure. Sounds great. I'd love to see the uh, the German countryside is like on a train. You can't solve murder on a light rail. Yeah. Unless you're very fast about it, and it's very obvious. Not used to talking about Atlanta ever since I moved away, so I got confused for a second hearing you talk about the Marta. <laughs> I, th I think Atlanta is a great city. Um, I thought the Marta was pretty good in spite of some uh, in spite of some problems with the funding and stuff normies can just go 10 to 0 with each other as easy as 0 to 10 yeah uh, those guys realized they both had glowing crystals and they needed to kill chaos together is that have you guys played the demo for that game stranger of paradise is it any good Last time I took a long distance train, let's just say it took twice as long as it should. Why? It's quite expensive, but still nice. More than flying? Huh. Oh, the tilt when it goes around a turn, yes. Amtrak might be even more costly. Yes, Amtrak, like if you get a sleeper car going from coast to coast on Amtrak, it is like very expensive. 
trains here so expensive it's nuts why that seems weird like it seems like that would be so much less expensive than flying <laughs> uh. using this video to hypnotize myself into thinking i'm a train yeah that's that's the purpose of these that's what they're for i nearly took amtrak to portland in 2019 or tried you failed at it <laughs> what what happened the MARTA has its problems, most of it being not having any funding, yeah. I think it's because they, they had some weird stipulation that 50% of the, the funding had to be for maintenance and 50% had to be for capital or something like that, but like one didn't need nearly enough money, so they just had extra money that was not being spent on the things that needed to be spent on for just an absolutely senseless reason. <laughs> uh, strange. That's what I remember reading at least. People constantly figure out how you can commute within the UK by a by plane via Spain, and it's cheaper than taking a train. That seems like a real problem. <laughs> that seems very weird. A local railway to me just has steam trains to ride on. Like, coal-fired steam train? <laughs> that seems strange. Every time I go outside, I think the same thing of, wow, these graphics are great. The skybox is great. The Stranger of Paradise, anyway, is so weird and disjointed. Did you like it? They cut the story weird so you could have a variety of game slices, so maybe it's just that. Ah. Uh, huh. Even going from the train station near me to unnamed big city is like $100 sometimes. That is insane. I failed at it because I didn't have time to go. Oh, I'm sorry. The problem is they privatized the railways. Oh, that'll do it. Look, it's a train otaku. Yeah, a lot of these train videos you'll see someone probably associated with the channel, or maybe the, the uploader themselves, just like taking pictures of the trains at the station. Which is kind of cute. Four W O L? Oh, four warriors of light. That is that is odd. You can take your save from the demo into the full game, so it might just be like that. <laughs> That'd be weird. Thought it was not out yet. Yeah, it's the demo, Emily. Demily. You will see people associated with Graphite Channel. Yeah, we are a lot of train freaks around here. <sighs> I respect Train Otaku because the big clunky hardware they're obsessed with isn't designed to kill people. Yes. It's designed to make uh, relatively lesser uh, problems for the environment and wildlife relative to uh, car infrastructure. Which is nice. <clears throat> Better than cars. <sighs> there must be oil tanker otaku somewhere. Oh, Ellie's, Ellie's drawing of Georgie in a mascot outfit of herself. <laughs> Very good. <sighs> the environment on this train ride is so beautiful to look at. Yeah, this is... Um... Switzerland to Italy. I think I may have watched this video before. It's very nice. Um, I think there's a lot of elevation changes and times where they're descending from quite like 
high places and they go through very rural areas. It's just like a few houses and stuff. It's very cool. Hello, Button. I choose to believe this is the train you take to get to the Mansion of Hidden Souls. Oh yeah, I forgot that I even had that still on that uh, that category. We'll put it on, uh, of course, the classic standby. Virtual Fighter Portrait Series, Volume 6, Lao Chan. <clears throat> I am closer to the bulk carrier otakus. You see, I am a plushie in the supply chains. You should watch those downhill biking videos again. Those were pretty exciting. Remember the one where they were doing like a race from the stop, the top of a mountain, and like it was all icy, and like people were wiping out and getting like fucking clobbered. It was like terrifying. Sounds DS spooky. Hi, Graffy and chat. Hope you're all having a wonderful Sunday. It was quite nice. It was a good day. It was pretty low-key. Nice day. Enjoyable. Let's watch some sick snowboarding vids. I like that one where the, the Reimu Hakure cosplayer is snowboarding. Absolutely shredding. It's so cool. So glad that my favorite game, Virtua Fighter's CG Portrait Series Volume 6 Lao Chan, is getting some attention. You know, people don't respect the Virtua Fighter CG Portrait Series uh, enough to say nothing of Volume 6 Lao Chan, which is, you know, sort of the black sheep of the Virtua Fighter CG Portrait Series. Um, a lot of people disregard it out of hand. They don't even look at it themselves. They just uh, read the opinions of other people online and and just say, no, I don't need to look at that for myself. I already know that it's bad because someone else told me. I don't know. Maybe maybe people should give Virtua Fighter CG Portrait Series Volume 6 Lao Chan another shot. I think it might be a hidden gem. Hydrate, thank you. I could use some uh, hydration. Ah. They just copy AVGN's opinion. A lot of people do that. A lot of people's opinions about, like, um, <clears throat> video games. They just, uh, copy and paste them. <laughs> did you see- wait, did you just see that? There was, like, time-lapse footage for a second. Watch. There's gonna be, like, a, a person, like, uh, on this little hill in the center. Yeah. Look at them. <laughs> zooming around um like i saw i saw um like on I, I looked at the metacritic page for elden ring just to see i don't know what random people online are saying about the game and like half of the reviews from users just said that it had ps3 graphics and that that was unacceptable and it's like they must have all gotten that same like line of of thought from somebody and they just all repeat it. It's so weird. This is just very strange. And yeah, and saying that as if it's a bad thing too. That was such an EGI bit you just did. What is EGI? <laughs> About Virtual Fighter CG Portrait Series, Volume 6 Lao Chan. That's not time-lapse, he's just newming. This train video has PS3 graphics. I wish it had PS3 graphics. It would be nice if it just looked like Demon Souls but was open world, that'd be kinda cool. Electronic game information, what is that? <laughs> I've not heard of this before. PS5 game where the grass moves, poisoned people's brains. What game? <laughs> what game are you talking about? <laughs> the game where the grass moves. I played this game and I walked through the grass and it didn't move at all. How is this acceptable? It's 2022, we're on the PlayStation 5. There should be real-time ray tracing and the grass should move when I walk through it. And the fish should be scared of me when I go in the water. 
frankly completely unacceptable. I'll be I'll be submitting a refund immediately. Gamer hive mind, yeah. They're all connected. Some, some more people zooming by here. Electronic gamer illness. That's the thing that makes you say things like that. You can always tell when some YouTuber rallied a review bomb. Yeah, it's, it's just stupid. You know the guy from the Right Aid video? The one with dirt eating teens? No, I've I've never heard of this in my life. What are you talking about? <laughs> Remember back when Fallout 3 came out, gamers were mad that it didn't have soil erosion. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Soil erosion? Hold on. Where is, uh... My other... What was that? Did you guys see my other browser window for a moment? That was weird. I don't see anything about Fallout 3 soil erosion. I blinked, but no. Oh, okay. The ice cubes should melt over time, like Metal Gear 2. Does that really happen in Metal Gear Solid 2? When I first joined the stream, I thought this was a train sim, and then realized it was IRL, and I was like, wow, the graphics! Yeah, I think I think a few other people made <laughs> made remarks about that, about wanting to say something about the graphics in this video, which is very funny. Uh-oh. I blinked. But no. Okay. No. Send me that vor art. I want to see. Ugh, I cannot. I cannot. <laughs> the MGS melting ice cubes is infamous. And they melt slower or faster depending how close they are. Where where are these ice cubes? These power lines look very city skylines. That game does not render power lines well the last time I checked. Oh, you mean like the way that they are compressed by like uh, <laughs> the video? Until so just kind of like disappearing? Hello, oh, Paper Compass. I guess it is like playing Densha to go if you didn't have to play the game at all. Ah. The track being next to the road. Like, this is cool. I guess it uh, kind of reduces the footprint of, like, the transit, maybe? I'm not sure. Apparently in Oblivion, they promised soil erosion, and gamers were salty about it. Like, where? <laughs> Wait, like, where would that have even been? <laughs> soil erosion? The PS1 Underground demo discs drop watches frequently advertised MGS2's ice cubes. Must have been a big deal. Tanker part had a lot of weird physics? I don't remember that at all. You shoot a drink. Also, Snake's beard grows in real time during the scene where he gives Raiden the sword. Is that actually true? Are you messing with me? The lighting is off. Gamers infamous for staring at dirt for hours. <laughs> Why would you even want that? What will you do with that? I don't know. No, it's true. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh. Oh, my voice feels kind of shot from streaming, reading so much of Alter Ego. We gotta go back to that, maybe like next weekend or something. 
Maybe we'll uh, try and get through like a one one life phase of that, like per session, like once a week or something like that. That could be fun. <laughs> In a horrible way. Secret of gamers is that they don't know, they don't want what they think or say they want and wait, they don't? want what they think, or say they want, and should not get it. Didn't you want to read a book on stream? The gadget one? Oh, I think that will be too much for me. And it also doesn't seem like it's that good of a book, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do that anymore. It would just, it would be too much reading and my voice would die. <sighs> playing through it in real time. Yes, we will age while we play the game across 80 years of our life. Slowly raising a little gremlin like a Tomagotchi. I feel like there should be like a weird little portrait of like your, your person in Alter Ego to connect you to it a little more. Have TikTok text-to-speech read it. What does TikTok text-to-speech sound like? I try to avoid knowing anything about TikTok if I can help it. No offense. I just, everything that I see and hear about it, it sounds like, what if Twitter was all video? Like, and everything was a video and had like bizarre filters and like bad music. Oh, look at this. Cool. It says, can you stop the train? I gotta pee. There's a toilet in the train. Come on now. If you read a book on stream, you should put your VTuber model on the stage that Andy Kaufman spent hours reading a book until everyone in the audience left. I don't think I've heard about this before. You should advertise your channel on TikTok. No. <laughs> no. I get that this railway is definitely going places, but why does it feel like we're going around in circles at times? I mean, maybe it's all the curves in this track <laughs> and all this uh, similar kind of like boulder strewn landscape. How do all these boulders get here, by the way? Like, why, why are there so many boulders? Like, Switzerland is not, like, a volcanic region, is it? There's no mountains shooting boulders everywhere. <laughs> Boulder and Scully. Why was that tunnel even there? It was just a box in the middle of the field. I, I, I could not tell you. Maybe it's some kind of weather thing. I don't know. This video needs more tunnels. These are good mountains, aren't they? What is anti-faciality? Like, people should not show their faces online? This railway is a trick. A mummer's farce. A large boulder the size of a graph. The Alps, Graffy. What? The Alps, yeah. Are they? They're not volcanic, are they? I don't know this stuff. I want Milka now. What's that? Milkus. The Alps are not volcanic. Okay, good. Alps. Oh, I think we'll maybe go for like another 10 minutes or so and then I you know I will have to uh, leave you for the day. <clears throat> I would like to see if we can get to the parts that I remember seeing where there's like very high elevation. 
like going down a mountain yeah like right here sorry to skip ahead but i want to see another another region they're like descending the mountain on like switchbacks like And then we switch to Shenmue 3. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I keep thinking maybe maybe we should give Shenmue 3 another shot, but the second that I think about the reality of playing that game, I feel so I feel like extremely depressed immediately. Also look at how scarily close this is to the edge of this like steep drop off. And then we switch to Night and Baby. Oh of course. Any minute now. I heard a story about a guy that said the cereal Alpen was called that because when you go to eat a spoonful, you go Alp, Alp, a Alp, Alp. You would like it. It would break you eventually. I don't think so. You should give Shenmue 3 another shot. I don't really want to though. I don't know, like there's, it's not like there's nothing good in Shenmue 3, but, uh. Somebody night and baby pill me, I missed that stream. It's like an extremely long, boring, like bog standard JRPG where you are like a, a knight guy who has like a little pink weird dragon baby and uh, you go around like it it sounds good like i had it as a kid and it's like on paper it sounds great right but in practice it was just like so boring to play you literally have barely seen anything of shenmue 3 i've seen an entire playthrough honestly like i, I watched super great friends entire playthrough of shenmue 3 and uh The Shenmue anime is going well. Five episodes and Shenmue 1's plot is done. I guess they're just gonna do like 12 episodes and finish all of Shenmue 1 and 2? Played it as a kid with my sis. We agreed to give up that game at some point. Yeah, it's it's like, it's cute. It has good music and it has good graphics, but the problem is that it's just not not a very fun game to play and the plot is not that interesting either. Shenmue 3 is one of those things that's like IDK, really boring and gaudy at the same time. Yeah, it's the visual style. I know that stunts and shelter mix like it, and I kind of can get into it, but it's like, I, I think that the whiplash between having just played Shenmue 2 and really loving how that game looked and seeing Shenmue 3 where everyone looks like they are like subsurface scattering like gummy candy, I was just kind of like, ugh. <laughs> Feels like it was developed by the people who made like Sticks Master of Shadows. That I have not thought about that game in a long time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you for the stretch load. <sighs> No one has. Did anyone play that game? <laughs> it's like a game where you play as like a goblin, right? And it's like a it's like a stealth game or something. Wasn't it like an early 360 title or something like that? You should play it for us. Oh. <laughs> no, Chuba, you play it. You play Sticks Master of Shadows for us. I've seen it. I never played it. Shenmue 3 has some good moments. Unfortunately, they're mostly in the second area. Uh, that's how it seems, you know? Like, uh... 
I don't know, that beginning part in Bailu Village is just... It seems like there's just not anything interesting going on there. It's unfortunate. Because it could have been great. It's just not. <laughs> at all. <laughs> Saw a streamer play it all the way through for nine hours straight once while I had a fever. And the streamer seemed like he was feeling the same way I was somehow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay, I'll stream six. Thank you. Thank you. Cameo Elements of Power slash Styx Master of Shadows double feature stream. I mean, you get like a fatal illness from that, I think. Stunts, didn't you like 100% cameo like when you were young or something? Maybe I stream sometime. Maybe you do. You should do it. You should do it. Maybe you could just run through the first part quicker. You were kind of li uh, li lingering on all the boring stuff. Yeah, but I mean, that's supposed to be the point of Shenmue, as you linger on the boring stuff. That's the good part. If the game, if lingering on the boring stuff is bad in a Shenmue game, then they failed. They failed to make a good Shenmue game. That's my opinion, personally. They should call it Kami O. Oh. You play that stunt. You play cameo elements of power. You stream that. She got 1000 gamer score. <laughs> Gallery Val da Pila Sopra. This is cool. These, these like, galleries that... I think the idea of these is maybe uh, if there's, like, a landslide or, like, a rock slide or something like that, that maybe um, the rocks will go over the roof of this and not leave the train tracks, like, unusable. This is my thinking, at least. Is this Italy? I would, I would expect that this is probably Italy, because um, the... The names of stuff is in, in Italian. There's another tunnel. Everyone loves tunnels. Plenty of tunnels after a weekend where every game that we played seemed to be mentioning wombs and unbirthing constantly. Remember in... Uh, Mansion of Hidden Souls, where the guy said he'll be as helpless as a baby in his mother's womb. It's a very strange way to describe that. Switzerland has Italian-speaking areas. So oh, I didn't know that. Chihiro from Spirited Away did not like tunnels. When will the train drive into Kana's mouth? I'm surprised there's not like a like a POV like of that or something that someone's made. Uh, a 360 panorama POV video. It's like seems like that would be the obvious thing for someone to make. Oh, it's made. We just have to find it. <sighs> uh, you have to go into a special VR chat room. Gander. Very good. Uh. <laughs> oh, very good, both of you. Uh. Well, let's see. Let's see if there's anybody that I know that's on to raid. So I am. Uh, I am a little tired. I'm hungry. I need to pee really, really bad. So. Good. Good mage. I'm waiting through this uh, very long ad for Carl's Jr. to see if this person uh, 
streaming something that we might want to... That was just the um, Smash Bros. Alright, well, we'll just not raid today. That's fine. Yeah, thank you all for thank you all for coming and for watching. I had a great time. Um, yeah. <sighs> it was very nice to see that game. I'm really glad that I didn't just get frustrated and give up on it because it was <laughs> very, very fascinating. Nah. Thank you for the train nightcap. Yes, of course. We should probably we should start doing this again sometimes. Ah. <sighs> Want to rewatch this segment? I need more. You can watch the video yourself. Here's uh, this is the video title: Cab Ride, St. Moritz to Tirana, Bernina Pass. I guess this was uh, 2019 October. <clears throat> so mad I was never able to find the Carl's Jr. Van Helsing ad. <laughs> well, you know, maybe maybe it'll surface someday. I would love more train content. We could try and play like uh, Densha the Go or something sometime maybe. That could be fun. Watch more videos like this at the end of streams that are uh, just a little bit short. But um, uh, yeah. I hope you all have a lovely evening and uh, take care of yourselves. And uh, I guess I'll see you next on Wednesday. So uh, yeah. I will see you later.